Hey y'all, Jazz Creations Art Sanity here. So today I'm going to do another checkerboard game. Now I'm going to do this in batches. So um, it's Wildcat inspired, so I'm doing purple and white. Um, so I'll, I will be using this glitter. I'll be using um, some Violet Crystal Mica Powder. For my white, I've mixed up... Um, some white alcohol ink and then some macro pearl mica powder and that's what I'm going to start with is my white here I've got this mixed up um, so I'm going to fill my plain pieces here and then my boxes um, I'm going to let let that cure for a few hours before I come in and do my purple plain pieces and then my my um, purple in my boxes. And I'm doing that so that um, they don't run together. And then for my glitter over there, it will be the very back of my plain board. So this is the time consuming part here. Um, you can see what I'm doing using a pipette gives you more control of the resin, but it's so, it's such a slow process and like I'm don't have very many patients. So I'm going to continue like this. I'm going to pour a little puddle in my squares and then come back with the pipette and fill them in. So I'm going to finish this process, hit everything with my heat gun, and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, it's been, I don't know, four or five hours, so I'm going to do the purple now. I'm going to do my pieces and then my squares. So I'm using this purple mica powder here. I will then go ahead and let this cure overnight and then I'll come back in and finish filling my game board here with this glitter.
Okay, so as you can see, I've already demolded my game pieces here. Um, they're real easy. They pop right out of the mold. And I have decided to... Let me see if I can get this a little closer here so you can see. See the king in there? I am going to fill that in with glitter. So first, first I tried acrylic paint. I didn't like it. Then I tried my painter's markers. Um, my black ones I have, I need new black ones. The ones I have are, the tips are messed up. And so it really didn't work. So this is what I decided to do. Now, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but we'll give it a go here. So I'm using some Elmer's glue here. That's what's in this tub here and I've just got I've got a couple of silicone brushes um, they're both pretty small but one is an extra fine and all I'm doing is putting some glue I'm kind of putting a little dab on the end of on the tip there and I'm going to drag it around where I want this glitter to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got some black, um, extra fine, what is it, let me see, this is what it is. Okay, so now I'm just going to sprinkle it right on top of here. Hopefully you guys, I'm in focus, you guys can see that. I'm just going to sprinkle it right on top of here. And then I'm going to pat it down. Dump the excess off. And then I'm going to set it to the side and let it dry. Okay. Now, once it's dry, I think my white one's dry. Let's hope anyway. But once they're dry, I'm going to take a dry brush, a flat dry brush here, and just brush off the extra glitter. Oh, I got this stuff everywhere. Okay. So just brush it off till you've got it how you want it. Okay. And that's what it's going to look like. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead 
and finish the rest of these. Okay, let's demold our game board here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Wow, that's really neat. So now I'm going to put a flood coat on both sides. So I will show you how I'm going to do that. And I'm only going to show one side because it's a repeat process. So I'm going to... First, I'm going to tape off my top. So that means I'm going to flood coat my bottom first. I'm going to wait 24 hours for that to cure. Um, it might be a little longer than that because it's kind of cool here. So, But when it's cure, then I'm going to take the tape off my front. I'm going to tape my back. And then flood coat my top. Now I do it that way because if for whatever reason um, because for whatever reason my my drips get like under the tape then it's going to it's going to be my last like layer. So that means it's going to be back on the bottom and I can take care of that and hide that better than I can if they were on the top. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, we're going to get started. Okay, now I'm also going to put tape in my middle because it never fails. I, oh, I usually will get my hand underneath there one way or another. I usually pick up my pieces to look. Um, make sure I've got like there's no air bubbles or air floaties or anything so I always get my hand underneath my projects and of course I'll have resin on my glove and then of course it gets on my project so I've learned to tape the whole thing not just the edges so I'm now going to take my little Zacto knife and cut off the extra tape around the edges. Okay, so I've got my board sitting on my little cups here. I've got my resin mixed up and we're just going to put our clear, clear coat on. Okay, 
So I've already sprayed my playing pieces. Um, all I did was I put them on this old cooling rack, took them out, took them outside and sprayed them with this um, clear gloss coat to seal in that um, glitter. Now, I have decided to put a cork backing on, on here. So, what I'm going to do is I've got, I've got this stuff here and it says to spray both surfaces that I'm joining for a maximum bond. Um, I'm not going to worry about repositioning because I've got, as you can see, I've got some extra here. So if I don't get it quite square, that's going to be okay because once it is bonded together, then I'm just going to cut off the extra. So let's see how this stuff works. Okay, so this one's done. Here's the cork backing. I've cut off the excess. And I'm going to call this one done. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And until next time, bye.